This is the electron geometry and dipoles activity. And for this first part, we want to draw the Lewis structure and list the electron geometry for each of the following molecules. Electron uh, geometry and Lewis structures are two things that we've worked on before, but uh, let's go ahead and do H2O together. So our process uh, looks like this. So count up the number of valence electrons. Each hydrogen has one. And there are two hydrogens, so that's two times two. And then each oxygen has six. That's a total of eight valence electrons. Now, um, we know that hydrogen cannot be in the center because hydrogen always wants one bond, which would give it a share of two total electrons. So we'll put the oxygen in the center. We'll connect the hydrogens using single bonds. Remember, each dash is a single bond, and each dash is two electrons. So I have four electrons. Ordinarily, it's true we put the extra electrons on the outside atoms, but hydrogen has its share of two electrons, which means it doesn't need any more. So when you have extra electrons, you put them on the center atom. And that is the completed Lewis structure for H2O. H2O has one, two, three, four electron groups. Whenever anything has four electron groups, its electron geometry is tetrahedral. Go ahead and work out the rest of these, and then we'll have another video for the next table.